Hey guys, welcome to part 11 of this e-commerce website tutorial series. Today we're going to set up the HTML for the cart page and also the checkout page. So we can begin by creating a new view for the cart page. So if I scroll up and find the cart app and inside the views we can create a new view here. Def cart request and then just return render request and then we set the template cart slash cart.html and save. So we can also import this to the URLs. So that's done. So here cart. And then we can edit a load uh, shop for example. So path cart slash and we use the cart view as the name to cart. So we can reference it different places. So now if I try to go here, go to slash cart, we'll get a template does not exist error. But that's okay because that was intended. And then we can go into the cart here and into this folder, create a new file called cart.html. So instead of writing all of this again, we can make a copy of the shop page or at least the top of the shop page, these four lines. Go back and paste, close the div, and also close the end block. If I now save and refresh, the error is gone, and we see an empty page. Great. So, on the left side of this, I want to have the products and then a short summary on the right page, on the right side. So, div class products, just add this attribute just so that I can separate it. The width should have been full on mobile devices, but on LG and up we set width to be 3 fourth of the screen. So products, and then div class summary. And I want this to be a little bit different. So summary, w full and w one fourth. Padding set to P6 and then BG gray 100 rounded dash XL and margin top to be 3. And in here I want the title so H2 class uppercase and the text can be LG and MB5 so we have some space below the title summary. And here I want to show the total price of the cart, but we can save and just see that everything is working. Yes, here we have the gray background and then the summary title. Below here I want to add a new div class MB6 and flex and justify between. We'll see soon why. Then span class font semi bold total and span dollar and then this is just hard coded for now so now you can see that i used the justify between so the first element is at the beginning and then all of the space is added between them then below here i want a small purple button for going to the checkout page so a href so this to be hash or empty Class inline block and then px8 for spacing py4 rounded xl bg purple 500 and when we hover this sorry when we hover this I want this to be darker so hover bg purple 700 and text white and then the title can just set to check out really be filling out the name and similar. Great. Next step then is to add a product to the left side here. So if I go here again now, remove this and replace it with a div class, sorry, products and then div class product. And this I want to say MB6 so we get space between the products in the list. Flex and padding right Six. So we get space next to this box here. 
and then in here I want a link to the image and a href can be just empty for now because everything here is hard coded class v dash one fourth because I want the product image to just fill out one fourth of this box m class sorry m class hover shadow dash lg rounded xl and then an image just src one.jpg if you don't have anything there now it's okay and then next to this link i want the information about the product to be placed so i can copy so div class w3 fourth of the screen or this box heading left six like that and then i want the title to be put it here and then the price on the right side so we need a new div class flex for this justify between and then we add the link to the product so copy this beginning here class text lg product name then we can add a span for the for the product price span class mb-6 and padding top one text gray 100 so it's a little bit grayed out and for example dollar 9.99 if i save now go back and refresh you see the image here the product name and then the price over there great it was a little bit hard to see, so I need this to be darker. Text gray 400. Yes, much better. And then below this, I want to add HR so that we get some uh, separation from this and the buttons for incrementing and decrementing the quantity. Div class quantity empty 6 flex items center space dash x4 and then i want one link for decrementing the quantity a href just be empty for now class p3 for the padding and bg gray 100 and then just add minus then i can copy this for the incremental button plus and then between here i say span sorry span to remove that like that so now you see that i use this items centered combined with flex that means that these are perfectly aligned great so i can make a copy of this div class product just to see that everything is good when we have multiple products there yes nice so that means that i now can go to the to-do list as i just done all of this will be changed in one of the upcoming parts. We will be using HTMX for this and talking with the backend and similar. Before I continue, I just want to say thanks to all of my patrons. If you too want to support me, you will find a link in the description below. So then we can continue to the next task, which is creating the checkout page. So we, begin, we can begin by creating a new view. Just make a copy of this place the name with checkout and the template with checkout and save so i also here can copy the top here create a new file close that and close the end block and then we save this as checkout.html sorry this was actually put in the wrong folder This was supposed to be up here together with this. So move this. Yes, much better. So just save. See that everything is working. I get an error now because this page is not found because I haven't imported it to the URLs page. So check out. I can copy this. I want the part here to be cart slash checkout. And checkout. And the name can also be checkout like that 
So if I now go to cart slash checkout, then I will see the empty template. Perfect. And then we can begin by adding the form and similar here. First, let's add a title. So go to checkout and I can actually make a few more copies from here because I want to have similar layout here. And I can copy the summary and just take all of this like that. And then in here I add the title H1 class and B5 text three times XL check out save. So if I refresh now you see this and we get the summary here. I will change this to a sign no a, a payment button. So instead of saying check out we can replace the title with confirm check out and save. Great. So then I just need to do some changes here so we can fill out the name, the contact information and similar. So below this title create a new div class W full padding right can be set to six. So we get some space next to this. And then here we say div class mb dash six p six padding bg gray one hundred and rounded xl. I want one box for the shipping information, so we need to add a title here as well. H2 class and then mb-5 uppercase and text lg and then here we can say shipping information and save and i will see that we have separated this and then below here i want to have one for contact information and one for payment information so let's make a copy of this paste paste contact information and payment information Nice. The payment information will be will coming back to this later, but we can now add some fields here. We can begin with the contact information. So here we say div class and b dash four, and then we have a label class inline block. Oops, and. They should also have mb2 so a space down to the input field email and then input type email class w full so it fills out the whole block and i want this to have some padding p5 and the rounded corners save so you can see that this is working now yes great let's make a copy of this for the phone number phone and type phone like that great and I also now want similar fields up here for the name and similar but I want the first name and last name to be on the same line so it's not too long this form so I need to add a new div here div class flex space x dash six and then div class, I want this to fill out the uh, half of the screen, 1 slash 2, and b dash 4, so we get space below this. And then in here, I can just make a copy of this, like that. Text, replace the label with first name. If I save now and go back, you'll see that this only fills out half of this. So if I copy this element, paste it, just replace the label with last name refresh so now we have this on the same line which looks a little bit better and i can make a copy of all of this because i want the same thing for the zip code and place so zip code and city slash place great and then i can have one full length for the address so if i copy the email Paste it between these two elements. Address, input type, text. So if I now refresh, we have this checkout form. Great. 
So then I can go to the do list and set this task done. And that was it for this part. In the next part we're going to continue building the cart page. Hope you liked this part and if you did please hit like below and add a comment if you have any questions. See you in the next part.